Well, good news. I got cleared for the Lynx procedure today. I had an appointment with my doctor over the phone and I recorded it for you guys. So give it a listen. Hope you enjoy it. Doctor. Hey, it's Dr. Yes, Dr. Doctor, how you doing? I'm good. One second, my phone is beeping. So give me just a second to see what's going on. Yeah, it's Speaker, not... can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear a bit. Okay, perfect. All right, so it looks like we got all of the studies back. Yes. Um, I'm just going to go through them with you real quick. How, how are you feeling overall? Well, um, I stopped doing crunches. Uh, I used to do like uh, sit-ups and crunches like almost every day and my GERD is much better. Okay. So I think, uh, yeah, right. it has to be the, the, the hernia maybe, I guess. Okay. And um, are you still, are you taking any medication at this point? No. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, you know, the, the biggest thing that was concerning in was ultimately, you know, you have this evidence of Barrett's esophagus. Yes. And so even though your symptoms are better, you know, the concern is that if you continue to have reflux, that this Barrett's may potentially get worse. Yes. And so, you know, even though your symptoms are relatively minimal at this point, you know, it, I would, it's not an absolute recommendation, but I would say we should at least consider, you know, surgery. Um, the other thing is, you know, we know you have a little scares off. And then the last thing is basically the manometry um, came back normal, so that's actually good news. Um, you know, we want because it means your esophagus works appropriately and can squeeze. And if we want to consider doing the um, length of the body, we can put that in without any significant concerns. Well, so, you know, the question is, with your symptoms being better, are you still wanting to consider surgery, or do you want to hold off for a little bit? No, no, no. My symptoms are better, but like in a scale of uh, one to ten, and ten being horrible, I'm on an eight. So they're a little bit better. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. I, okay. Okay. That makes that makes more sense. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I have a question though. So, um, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, realistically speaking, um, with this yeah. Lynx device, is there any situation? Where I could be like, I don't know, near like a big electromagnet that it rips out? No, so it will, number one, no, it will not rip out of you. So like for MRI, like that's the biggest thing that, that we talk about with these devices. So, you know, an MRI is basically a giant magnet. Um, there's a certain strength of MRI that you can go through. It's, the, it's called 1.5T is safe. A 3T is unsafe. And what that means is if you do go through a big giant magnet, it demagnetizes the link. So basically, instead of all the magnets being together, they just separate and fall. You had just a bunch of pebbles in there as opposed to magnets. So it demagnetizes it. It doesn't rip it out of your body. Like, but like for example, just like consider this. I'm walking by a junkyard, and there's this big electromagnet. Will yeah. it rip it? Uh, no, it, no. Oh, I've okay. never heard of it, anything. Yeah. You know, I've never heard of something like that happening. I see. All right. Well, you know, I would do the, the surgery tonight if I could. Is that bad? So. Okay. okay. All right. So I will work with, so we've got, our, as I said, we've got everything done. Megan, she will call you um, probably tomorrow thing to come up with a date and a time. And we really, realistically, we should be able to get this done within the next week. Okay, great. I have a qu another question about the the scars. Yeah. Is it? I yeah. I've been, I've seen the scars on the internet, and they look like all over the place. Is it possible to get them like placed more aesthetically, like you know, like on an even? Is yeah, there, like, I mean, they, yeah. yeah, basically, I put four little incisions directly in a straight line across the belly. Uh -huh. I try to line them all up. Okay. They're usually small, less than about a centimeter in size. Um, one is usually hidden in the belly button. Um, they usually fade pretty well, but yeah, no, certainly I, I always kind of can the only reason why we wouldn't be able to do it, you know, as aesthetically as pleasing is if there's some reason that I have to adjust where I put my instruments to make sure that I can do the surgery safely. I see. And the one on the, on the belly button, you know, I seen that some, some people end up with like a, a hole above the belly button. It looks like, you know, you wore like a belly button ring and it looks kind of gay really. Uh, yeah. Is it, is there a way to like avoid yeah. that? Um, it, it depends. And when I see it, you know, when I see it uh, in the holding area before surgery, I'll, I'll mark out for you where the incisions I would plan to make are. 
Perfect, perfect. And I have an, another question. Since um, the sofa goes and this, all that stuff is fine, is it possible to just get the hernia repaired and not get the links? Or I, do I have to get the well, links? Well, the, the reason, so if you just fix the hernia itself, it doesn't actually get rid of the reflux. Uh -huh. So the stomach would be in the right place, but you would still have reflux on top of that. So really, this we're doing this more for the, the reflux component as opposed to the hiatal hernia component. All right. Okay, okay. Let's do it. I'm in. All right. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Um, and we'll go over everything again today in surgery. Um, but if there's any questions between now and then, just let us know. And um, I will have Megan call you. Maybe this afternoon, but more likely tomorrow morning. Excellent. All right, doctor. Let's do this. Okay, have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. Well, the connection wasn't the best, but, you know, you get the, the point. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I'll keep uh, you guys updated. Thanks for listening.